All right, well, here it is. This is the LGB Model 2900, the Golden Spike set uh, that a lot of us have been hearing about. And what we're going to do today is actually unpack it and put it together and show you how it runs. We're very excited about this. And depending on how you receive these, uh, whether you pick it up at, a, at your local uh, dealer or have it shipped to you, uh, they can come in, a, in this inside of another box or it might be shipped on a pallet. Uh, it's a pretty heavy box and it's, as we get, as we unpack it, you'll see how well uh, LGB done, has done in uh, packing it and presenting it. They've done a fantastic job. So we'll go ahead and get started on opening this. Let me spin this around here. And we'll go ahead and open this up. Take a little razor knife here. And we were talking to LGB just the other day and when we were in Germany and they were saying a lot of people were um, very um, concerned about making sure that the boxes that they came in, the outer boxes, kept for the collectors. All right, and probably what we can do is all right, Christy. If you want to grab that side, let's get the rest of these out of here. We'll lift it up and we'll lift it straight up, and maybe Joanne, you can just probably pull the box out from behind here. Yeah, one, two, three. Now they did a, like I said, they did a fantastic job of packaging these and also a wonderful presentation. Uh, they went ahead and copied the, the cargo boxes that would have been typical back then, um, uh, that time of shipping things across the country in this beautiful uh, uh, pine wooden box with the golden spike uh, lasered onto the top of it here. And we can take out these little carter, Little pins. Green that. Well, as you can see, once you get down into the wooden cargo box. They've done a magnificent job of packing and organizing and displaying all the additional deep detail parts. Uh, as, as normal, you have the LGB instruction manual. And inside that is your certificate, which will show you, like a matter of fact, this one is number 281 of the 299 made worldwide. All right, so we'll go ahead and take a look at these items that are packed here. First, we have our uh, fireman and the magnetic uh, track uh, trigger that you can put on the track to trigger different sound effects with your locomotive as it passes over it. The hook and loop uh, coupler, as well as the knuckle coupler. Next is the commemorative golden spike. This is gold plated and has golden spike on this side. And on this side, it has the dates 1869 to 2019. We have the appropriate tools for the tenders for the, um, the coal-fired one and the wood-fired one. And then the next box has another um, uh, fireman and another magnetic uh, trigger device for the track for your sound effects. And of course, the accompanying hook and loop uh, connector and uh, a knuckle connector coupler. Next in the center are your uh, Lincoln pin 
uh, connectors, which were prototypical at the time, and these attached to the back of the tenders. Next is the applicator for the smoke fluid. These are the link and pin uh, connectors for the front of the locomotives, and they are actually functional. Uh, they have the correct spacing so that you can actually um, do a double header with these locomotives. And we have the telegraph pole with the American flag. This is the smoke fluid for the locomotives. These are the flagpole stanchions for the locomotive. They go in front on the, by the cow catcher. We have our engineer. And they've even done this little detail. These are the armrests for, that go in the window of the cabs on uh, both locomotives. And up here we have the twin brother of the other locomotive engineer and some more window armrests. All right, so how they've packed these in the shipping container is they have a locomotive, two tenders, and the other locomotive. Just lift them out. and three. So the next step is to remove them from the styrofoam container. And this is really typical of how they pack all of their very uh, high-end locomotives is the same similar style. just like that. This one has the two tenders. And the final locomotive. And these are actually bolted on to these metal bases. Okay, the next step is we're going to disconnect the locomotive from the shipping plate, and that's where you'll need the little wrench. And let me put these gloves on because these are absolutely beautiful locomotives here. So we start off by careful. We're using the same piece of foam that came from the shipping container. We're going to gently turn it on its side and undo these two wing nuts. like so. Lift those off like that. Move these out of the way. And then we need to undo the mounting bolts. One. And two. 
and there we have it. It's disconnected from the shipping plate and the other locomotive and the two tenders uh, come apart just the same way.